How's it going, everyone? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Boulder back today with my response to uh, Andy Cloudy Mulder and um, 10 favourite album uh, artworks. Um, to be honest, I've not chosen my top 10 because it would take me ages to choose the top 10. So I've just gone for 10 that I really enjoy. Down here, we've got a little um, honourable mention for Mastodon's Crack the Sky. Uh, love that cover. Yeah, the colours are fantastic. Um, really enjoy that album cover and a great album as well. Uh, so let's get into my uh, 10 albums that I have chosen for the artworks that I really, really love. Not going to spend too long on these. First one is Testament's Brotherhood of the Snake. Uh, fantastic album from these legendary thrashers. I absolutely love this cover artwork. Very apt for the uh, the title of the album, of course, um, with the big uh, three-headed snake on it. Uh, fantastic detail. Pretty basic with the colours, but they work. Uh, there's a nice illustration on the back here as well. Uh, fantastic album and great uh, artwork. Really, really love that one. It's a great cover. So that's that. Testament's uh, Brotherhood of Snake. Up next, some glam metal. This is uh, Britney Fox Boys in Heat. Um, I love the complete over-the-top sort of comic-like illustration of the lads here on the cover. Uh, definitely takes me back to my youth, seeing a lot of this kind of drawings around. Um, again, pretty basic with the colours, but I like the illustration. On the back, we have a nice uh, sort of pencil drawing of the lads in the band. So the front and back both look really good. Uh, good album from these guys. Some excellent uh, glam metal hard rock. And a cover that I've always really enjoyed. Looks really nice and good. Some thrash homegrown now. And this is Evil on their Infected Nations album. This has always had a bit of a touch of uh, Sepultura as a rise for me. Uh, great thrash from these fellows. Um, some nice drawings on the back. Really nice detailed on the front here. Again, not too much in the way of lots of colours, but lots of detail in there. Looks really good. Nice illustration. Great artwork. Great second album from these uh, UK thrashers. So that's Evar's Infected Nations. Really good stuff. Some real classic rock now. And this is Deep Purple and In Rock. Um, both sides are exactly the same. This is obviously a take on the uh, Mount Rushmore in America, with the uh, the president's faces are carved into the uh, mountain side. Um, all the guys in the band here uh, it looks really good. I've always loved this. It really sticks out in my mind when I think about great album of um, artworks. Fantastic stuff. Uh, classic album from these classic guys. Superb stuff. Really enjoy that. Something really sort of uh, gruesome now. Uh, Cannibal Corpse Butchered at Birth. I've always loved this cover. If someone asked me to think of, um, off the top of your head, a really sort of iconic death metal album cover, this is the one that always springs to mind. Very gruesome, very savage. Um, does what it says on the tin. You've got the babies hanging up here in the background and uh, a baby would be removed from the mother here. Um, just an absolutely fantastic drawing. Really gruesome, but very iconic. Sticks out in my mind any day of the week. Some more illustration on the back here. Second full-length LP from these uh, New York death metal legends. Great stuff. An underrated album now. Uh, Slayer's Divine Intervention. I've always loved this cover. It's just absolutely fantastic. The detail here is great. Don't need a lot of colours here. Um, but the illustration is amazing. Really, really good stuff. Nothing really to see on the back. Fantastic uh, underrated album from these... Uh, uh, yeah, from LA, aren't they? Or California, at least. Thrashers, uh, Slayer, Divine Invention from 1994. Absolutely amazing stuff. Just a superb um, album cover artwork. I absolutely love that one. I'm next over here to the UK, up to Newcastle. This is The Wild Hearts, and uh, The Wild Hearts Must Be Destroyed. Fantastic comic book-like illustration here with loads of great detail. You've got Big Ben down here being destroyed. I don't know why, but there we go. Um, yeah. Lots of nice colours, good detail. Close up of the uh, motorbikes on the back here. That's brilliant. Absolutely love that album cover. Some death metal now. And this is Deicide's In the Minds of Evil. Uh, nothing to see on the back, just a track listing. This is a great album, it doesn't get talked about a lot. And this uh, cover is just absolutely superb. I'll never forget when I first saw this. So I absolutely loved it. And it just always sticks out in my mind now to think of great album covers. Uh, I like the demon coming out of the, the head of this guy down here. 
It just looks superb, the great details, the uh, the demon looks absolutely hideous, as it should be. Um, and it represents, of course, the title of the album very well with the cover. Uh, superb stuff, absolutely love it. Um, great detail, not a lot of colours, but really does the job nicely. Absolutely love that one. Our next one of my favourite albums of all time. This is Alice in Chains and Dirt. Picture of the guys on the back. Uh... It's quite simplistic, not a lot of colours again, but it just looks great and just sticks out in my uh, mind. Um, this just takes me back so much to being a teenager in the, uh, the early 90s. A fantastic album with great cover artwork that just always sticks out in the mind. Quite simplistic, but looks amazing. Uh, superb stuff, absolutely love that. And last but not least, uh, Pestilence, Testimony of the Ancients. Great album from these guys. Excellent technical death metal. And the uh, the artwork is absolutely superb. I don't really know what's going on here, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, I don't, it looks kind of sci-fi like, uh, or sort of horror film like maybe. Uh, a great illustration. Uh, the detail is fantastic. This thing here, I'm not sure what it is. I know it's something to do with Pestilence's uh, logo, but it almost looks like one of the balls from uh, the Phantasm horror movies, if you're familiar with that. But um, an amazing album from these guys and uh, some artwork that I've absolutely loved from the very second I first saw it to now. It looks amazing. Uh, just a brilliant, brilliant cover that always sticks out in the memory. Uh, so there we go. That's my 10 um, favourite or some of my favourite album covers, artworks. Uh, superb stuff. Love them all. This is probably my favourite of the lot, actually. Um, just amazing stuff. Right, guys. Nice quick video today. Cheers for watching. Uh, Get in the comments, let me know what you think about these picks. Um, just want to say thanks to all the subscribers out there. Whether you've been for me from the start or if you're brand new, because I've picked up quite a few new subs recently. So thank you very much for your support. It's very much appreciated. I'll be back here next week, I think, with a collection update. So until then, I'll see you later and look after yourselves. Take care.